<laughs> Welcome back. Certainly great to see you today. I thought today we'd do a painting. It's just, it's a lot of fun, very simple, and I think you'll enjoy it. So let's start out and have them run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint this with me at home. While they're doing that, let me show you what I got going up here today. I have my standard old, well, I'm using an 18 by 24 inch canvas, but you use any size that you like. And all I've done is covered the entire canvas with a very, very, let me say it one more time, a very thin coat of liquid clear. Now the clear is on here just to make the canvas wet and slick, and that's really the only reason it's there. Be careful when you're using this clear, because you can't see it up here hardly. It's hard to, it's hard to tell if you have enough, if you have any doubt, because usually you get put too much on. If you have any doubt, take a paper towel and wipe it down. What's left will be just right. It's better to have too little than it is to have too much. You just want to make the paint slide on there. Let's have fun today. A little two inch brush. And I'm gonna use very, very little color. Pull the smallest little amount, smallest little amount of the blue out here. Little, tiny bit of blue. Very small amount. Let's go up in here. Now, very gently, I'm just gonna begin applying some color up here in the sky. I want to, let's do a winter scene today. So let's make it very soft and very misty. Oh, one of those winter, tell you what, let's get crazy. Let's get crazy today. Let's have a, uh, maybe a few little buildings down here, like a little farm scene or something. I don't know. I'll just sort of do it and see what happens. It doesn't matter because as you know, in our world, we don't make mistakes. We just have happy accidents. It's the only world I live in where there's no mistakes at all. That's what makes it so wonderful. Very little color. Shoot, while I got that going, let's just keep going. Maybe we'll just put a little bit of this blue all over. If we're gonna have a winter scene, then we're gonna need some shadows in our snow. So by applying a little blue down here, We'll use that later on automatically. This will become our shadows. And if worse comes to worse, what the heck? We'll turn it into a nice lake or a pond or whatever we want. Doesn't matter. That's what's so That's nice about this. this. You can change your mind. You can change your mind. Okay. Fun time. Fun time. Let's wash the brush. As you know, we wash our brush with odorless paint thinner. Shake it off. <laughs> this is the better one. Now let's go back with titanium white. First of all, the Prussian blue is transparent. It's very transparent. Now I'm going to go into an opaque color, the titanium white. And it is very opaque. Very opaque. Just a little color on here. And let's go up in here. And let's just play a little bit. Let's just pick out some areas like this. We want this painting, as I say, to be very soft, very gentle, quiet little painting. I don't want a strong, distinct sky here that, that, that'll be distracting. I want a very gentle, quiet little sky. And so that's what we shall have. There. In our world, we can create any illusion that we want. And today, I want softness in our world, tranquility, quiet, peaceful. Shoot, there's too much bad stuff going on. In our world, we're going to have a very peaceful place. Everybody's happy, even the little creatures. There we are. And that's really, that's really about all I want for this guy. I don't want to do much more than that. It's something about like that. And I get to wash the brush again. All right, I really, really just wanted to wash the brush. Shake it off. <laughs> and just raise Cade. You know, they, if you're gonna do this at home, I suggest you get a little thing called a brush beater rack. It goes down in a garbage can. Because if you do this in your living room, you're not gonna be very popular, I guarantee. I guarantee. All right, let's go into a little black. Very small amount of blue, but there's very little paint very little paint here. And I just want to tap in some little indications, barely touching the canvas. Little indications, far away, far away. Almost the same color as the sky. Very light, far away. Remember that, I keep saying it, 
because it's important. Now you can take this, I'm gonna blend the edges out so it just disappears. Just sort of disappears softly, softly. I don't do a lot of soft paintings on television because they don't show up quite as well, but I thought today we'll do one anyway. There, softly, blending those edges out a little bit so that it just sort of disappears. If you want to make this sort of look like it just, I don't know, like it sort of flows, almost like a watercolor, take a, leave a little more paint thinner on your brush because paint thinner and liquid clear, well, they have a violent reaction. And it'll sort of just grow and it's beautiful. It looks like watercolor. There, something about like that. That's a little background, something that's way back there. We don't even care where it's at, far away. Let's have one in the foreground, a little closer to us. Use the same color, only a little more paint, and add the least, least little touch of Van Dyke brown to it. But there's still not a great deal of paint on the brush. Not a great deal. Let's go up in here. Tell you what, let me show you something. I'm going to take just the least little touch of paint thinner. Remember I told you the paint thinner and liquid clear have a violent reaction. Wipe off all the excess, don't want much. Then we just sort of tap all these colors together and right here, let's just begin tapping in some basic little shapes. Very, very basic. There's paint thinner in here. Not a lot. I wiped all of it off as you saw that I could get off, but I didn't beat the brush, so there's still some in here. Let me just put in the indication for all kinds of little things that live up in here. There. All right. What's the old saying? You don't have to be crazy to do this, but it helps. Sometimes it does. Really, this is where you enjoy freedom, though, on canvas. Just. Let things happen. Let them happen. There. Now this will continue to dilute the paint thinner. Will continue to dilute the liquid clear, and you'll get reactions maybe for several hours. It'll be very slight, but it'll be a little bit different. Let me show you. Watch here. You can even take a little paint thinner on the on the fan brush and flick it. And look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those effects. It makes one of the neatest little nicest things. And all you gotta do, see, just flick it. And you can use the knife to flick it, or I'm just using the side of the palette, whatever, doesn't matter. But that'll continue to work. And it looks, once again, it looks like a watercolor. All right, let's put a, another little bush, same colors. Just tapping. Each layer gets a little bit darker as it gets closer to us. And maybe in our world, there's one more little tree that lives right here. We don't know. Don't know that we even care at this point in our life. They're just making all kinds of little things. And Okay. Yep, there's another one there. Here's one here. Sometimes you can just take and push sideways. Create all kinds of little illusions. Here's another one. And I'll take it and pull it, lift it. See there? Pull those, pull those little things out, that paint thinner. And clear will continue to work for a while once again. I like these kind of little paintings. They're so soft, so nice. They're very moody little paintings. Yeah, there we are. Okay. And that gives us a fairly good little background. You can enhance that a little, taking a little paint thinner, a little bit of white paint, put a little blue in it too, just to dull it a little. And maybe, in our world, maybe there's some little tree trunks that live up through here. Just a few. There we are. See, you can pull it down, you can lift it up, whatever works well for you. A few little things in here. You can actually just take plain paint thinner and do this. It'll lift the paint off the canvas. And you can get basically the same effect by just allowing the canvas to show through. There kinds of little doers happening. Now we decided early that this was going to be winter. <laughs> Let's get the bravery test out here. We'll go right into titanium white. Titanium white. Let's go up in here. Where's the snow? It's the easiest way there ever was to make snow. There. 
just like that. Maybe it goes right all across. I don't know. Now see, intentionally, I went around this tree. Now it looks like that tree is forward. Does that make any sense? I hope I'm saying that correct so you understand. Sometimes I get so excited, I don't say things right. But that's, that's just a neat effect in it. Look at that, it's setting down in the snow. I got there. Let's see. We decided we was gonna have some buildings out here. Maybe one of the easiest ways that I've found to make a building is take the knife and just firmly scrape out a basic shape. It does two things. Most important, it removes excess paint. Secondly, though, it allows you to lay out your buildings. Let's put a shed on this one. What the heck? Maybe that's a little barn with a shed on it. Like that. But you can lay out a whole series of buildings. Maybe there's more than one. Right there. Okay. Without being committed. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. You're not committed at this point. Let's take a little Van Dyke, a little dark sienna, mix it together. Van Dyke and dark sienna, just mix them together. And now we can figure out here where the dark part is. And in my world, I think it's right here. And you don't have to stay in the lines that you scraped out. You can go anywhere you want with this. I know the element that could make you happy. And whatever work, it good. is such an individual thing. Every person who's ever painted has a different opinion of why it works and how it should work. But I believe that it's an individual thing. And if you're happy with your painting, then the world's happy with it. So they really helped help me. me. I don't know if they'll help you, but I believe they will. I've got a little story about your world. Well, that's a rough looking at snow there. Oh, so laying up there. And leave some of the side of the building. Oh, we have to do. Oh, 
Pull that brush in one direction. Load a lot of color in it. Watch. Now I'm going to turn it over. See how it's rounded? You want that rounded corner to go to the top. You can also see right there, we just tape these furrows. I have people write in and they say, how come your brush looks different than mine? We put a little, a little tape on those furrows just to keep them from shining on TV. It's identical to your brush. Guarantee. Now, with that nice white color, all you gotta do is just go up here and barely touch. Just barely touch. We'll put a few highlights on these snow covered now. There. Over in here. Just a few little things. Don't want a lot. Just a few. Just a few. Now, that brush has got white on it, so it'll work just as well. Come in here. And with that, you can very gently clean up the bottom. Sort of begin bringing all this together. Just using white paint. There, pull that out. See there? But isn't that a simple and super little, little way to do? Maybe like a little farm scene in the winter. Now, if you live someplace where there's a lot of farms, you can look around and, and see the type of farms that are in your area and paint them to match what's, what you're used to seeing. It's up to you. It's really up to you. I just want to show you how to do this. What you do is very individual. All right. Something like so. Okay. Shoot, I think we about got it here. You might take, as I say, this guy didn't keep his grass cut very good. So maybe around here we can put a few little sticks and twigs around some of these posts. They usually grow there because you can't cut close to them. Something like it. Let's take a little rib, a little paint thinner, thin it down to the consistency, almost the consistency of ink. And let's sign this little rascal right there. Just like so. If your paint's very thin, it'll flow right over the top of this thick paint. That easy. Hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a very, very simple little painting. If you've never painted before, this one you can do. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting and God bless my friends.